you into my life or whatever. Forever, feeling like you could do better, better than me. I'm wishing OT, wishing you stay. Guys, make sure you check out MuleFactory.com, link in the description, and use Owen FIFA for 5% off, guys. They sell coins and lots of other different games as well, such as like League of Legends, RuneScape, etc. Loads of different stuff for every game that you guys will be playing. Use Owen FIFA for 5% off, guys. It's quick and reliable, very easy, and they do cover the 5% EA tax. Hey guys, welcome back to today. Welcome back to a brand new video, guys. So it's going to be a bit of a different video, a bit of a weird one. I want to say first of all, thank you so much as a vote on Twitter. Pretty much this video, you can see our title is Do Not Do This SPC. This card here is the worst card I've ever used in FIFA by an absolute mile. And when I say worst card, I mean absolutely terrible. Like, I've played with some bad players in the time, but this one really is something else. He cost me about a mil as well. And guys, I've had enough of him, so pretty much you can kind of understand what this video is going to be. We're going to be getting rid of him, and I was looking at the icons, what shall I put him into? Because I want to get rid of him, I'm going to try and complete as much as I can of an icon SBC right now, and upload you the packs and show you the cheapest way to do it, pretty much. That's the plan anyway. So I've looked at Luis Hernandez here, and this is the one I'm going to do. Um, he only costs around 800k, and I've already done the Liga MX and the 86 rated squad, which should it should save me a lot of coins. Obviously, well, it will save me a lot of coins, like of course, and of course the icon one as well. So we're gonna try and complete this one today. But first of all, here this idiot's going straight into the SBC, and then we're gonna do the packs obviously after. Just don't ever do him, guys. That is me done with him. I spent a mil on the car, but there's just no point in me having him. I'm never gonna use him because, to be totally honest. I'm probably going to end up quick selling every player in my team for carry on playing with it. Then we have this one here now. This is just completing the Lewis Hernandez SBC the cheapest, obviously. Um, all of that. So if you want to watch this, let me know. Obviously, if you want to see more of this kind of thing. But what I'm going to be doing with this one is going to be um, a half Spanish and a half Bundesliga team, I think. I think that's going to be the plan. I'm going to have, um, obviously, four or five of each team. So we're going to see what we have, actually, first of all obviously and we do have quite a lot of BBVA I know for a fact so we're going to start off with that anyway and we'll put them in and yeah we have ourselves a Lopez we'll just use to be fair to be, I'd rather use this guy it's untradeable just because of the pure fact that um, obviously using him might be a better idea we'll check right we don't really have many of these so I don't really know what we have I'm just trying to figure out what we have in terms of stuff I don't really want to use the info I don't have a great deal of stuff to be honest so we'll just look at another league now we'll just go gold right mid and see what we have nothing so this is going to be interesting we've got a red card of Valencia this is the first so I know what we're going to do here I've got an idea I'm going to go and just buy a load of players basically that's what's going to happen here I'm going to go out and just do the SBC by buying the cards and we'll open all the packs after so yeah hopefully you'll enjoy this style of video I wouldn't do this again if you don't want to I just thought I've got a spare time and I want to do this SBC so I just thought why not go and do it I know this guy is pretty cheap I'm sure he's like 750 something like that uh, yes yeah, 650 effort here by Gomez if you want to do Luis Hernandez, guys, I'd copy this way of doing it. Should be able to do all of it today. If not, I'll be pretty depressed. But I'd be shocked if we couldn't because I've already done the icon and the 86 rated team. So, yeah, there shouldn't be too much problem with doing it all. We see again here, 700 for this guy. He's 80 rated too. He needs 75 rating, of course. So, it's not going to be that easy to do. But hopefully this will um, get it up there a bit. We're going to go and get the Bundesliga players now. I'm actually using Footbin for this one. So, of course... Make sure to always check out Footman to try and do this for cheapest. I mean, I know I'm showing you the way, but I'm not going to be using like, all exactly the same players. I know, obviously, players that are similar that I can use or whatever that I know will be cheaper. Because people always price fix these um, SPC players because they think they're funny and, like, obviously, price fixing. Because everyone, like, people just copy the exact teams of these players. And then, of course, people pay, like, 2 3 k for these, like, 500 coin players. So, I won't be doing that, so... I'll promise you that much. There'll be no rip-off players. If I find a rip-off player, we'll just go elsewhere. The most I'm paying for a player is a K and 450 or they're not going to mess around looking for all of them. But yeah, you kind of get the gist here. There's some decent packs out of this SBC, to be fair. Probably we can make ourselves maybe a couple of hundred K back, something like that. That's always appreciated if we could do that. I don't know. But yeah, let me know down below, guys, what you want to do for 6K subs. I've got the options of a 24-hour stream, a setup tour, or something. Just let me know what you want me to do. Um, just let me know and I'll do it pretty much. That's the plan anyway. And you see here, Bigas here, 600. We'll play 600. I saw the number 500. So 
Oh, okay, we'll just go 650. But yeah, you kind of, this one's really cheap. It's only 5k or something. Um, you have a Lucinio, of course, in left back, I think. Will probably be the best option. This guy, it says he's only 500 on here, so um, we'll try and find him. Lucinio, there he is. Yeah, he's only cheap. He's 700 now, so yeah. He's 200 coins more than his usual price. So I guess that's done, of course, so... That is another one of the SBC done, so of course we can go and just put it in here like this. But that's going to be the plan anyway. Um, so Roberto is going to be the final one. I think it's this guy here. Yeah, it is. So 550 there will do. That's another one completed. And then we're going to go on now and do the Mexico one now. But guys, I'm going to come back to you with this video. Like I'm going to obviously just edit these bits out. However, I'm going to... Um, Start recording here and complete all the squads and show you them all and put them into afterwards. So you kind of get me. I'll come back basically, guys, when all the SVCs are completed. And you can watch me open the packs, obviously. So yeah, guys, I'll be back if Right, guys, we're back here now. We've pretty much finished these all. We've just got to do the 85 rates, which I thought I'd do live because... Why not? We've got to get Gary Cahill in here. There we go. So we've done the 84 rated squad. We've done the North and South. Uh, right there and then you can see pause any second guys if you want to watch any of these obviously just pause it quick you've got enough time to uh, the games well you've got enough time to probably sit and figure out every individual player here there we go finally the server's worked then we have the Mexico team uh, right there I accidentally put Fabian in this one I didn't mean to I bought the wrong player but he came to good use in the 83 score. We've got to go and buy Gary Cahill again because I need him for both teams. So obviously I had to take him out of one and put him in the other. So I've just got to go buy Cahill. And then this team will be also complete. So Cahill will just play 4.94 right there. And that's that one completed now as well. And then the final one I believe to complete. We just have one more to do. And it is the 85 rated squad. So we're going to go out on the market now and go and start this team with Petr Cech. That's the first player. I mean, starting nice and cheap there. Um, no, but he's at 18k. The team costs around 115k, I think, this one here. So 18.250 there for a Petr Cech. Isn't awful, but we need one team of the week player in this side as well, which is pretty annoying. But we're going to go and get the goalkeeper Perrin. Uh, he's 85 rated and only 28k. So... Might as well go pick him up here. 27, there's one for 27, 250 there. Yeah, there was, never mind. So we're going to buy him as well right there. And then we're going to go and get ourselves some of the 84 cards now, like Mustafi. Some of the ones, we're going to hopefully have around 200k left after this, which isn't going to be too bad at all. Um, all things considered, I don't expect to have this much left. We don't want um, special in there. 4.3k, another one for 2, probably would have sold. So no point wasting my time. Yeah, I'm going to hope to have, obviously. Yeah, around 200k left, hopefully. So we're going to go to Draxler next here. Julian Draxler, 4.1k for him as well, so not bad at all there. Um, I'm going to go and shove him in the team ready. Then we have Bernardo Silva next, so that guy is probably around the same sort of price. Four, we'll just buy him a 4 2. He's 84 rated, so he's going to be pretty similar to the rest of them. And then we have, of course, Juan Mata uh, in Cam right here so I'm presuming he'll be the same sort of price we'll go down to 4-2 what a surprise okay he's more ex that's weird he's a cam maybe he's a cam and 84 rated right? he's more expensive but that's a bit weird there we'll pay 5-2 for him and then we have up front we have Radamo Falcao and Alvaro Morata so we'll go and pick up Morata first I used Morata in one of the squads that I had him tradable but obviously we're going to buy another one now so I'm guessing he's, oh, he's actually quite cheap he's only around 5k so not bad at all. I remember he used to be a lot more than that. So we'll go with 4 8 there and just pick that one up. And then, of course, Falcao. And then we have a couple of higher rated players to buy. And that's pretty much it. So obviously, Radamo Falcao here. Um, Rad. Oh, he is. 4 9. Once again, there's actually only 3 something now. I just saw. 3 6 maybe. Yeah, 3 6 is his going price. So just pick one up for that. And then we're going to get now three more players 285s and 186. So we'll start off with the 86, which is going to be Cesc Fabregas. It's going to be around 20 something K, maybe 23K, something like that. We'll start off with 22 and a half. And see, oh, he actually is cheaper. It's around 20K. Not too bad then, I guess. 20K there. Um, 19,250. We'll pick that one up. It's in a sniper as well for some reason. Whoever put Fabregas in the sniper, I don't know, but the final two are going to be Glick and Sabatic. So Glick, I'm expecting to be around 9k, 10k, something like that. So we're going 9k, we'll go with 10k, and yeah, he is going to be there. 
Try and buy him for 9-9. Nine, nine. Um, there we go. And finally, we're going to get Sabasic, and that's it done right there. So, obviously, Sabasic is the final player to go and pick up. And we have loads of these, like, achievement things coming through as well, I think. So, 10k there for Sabasic, but... Let me sort out these achievement things. I think the free packs you get for doing these marquee signing things, I believe. It's going to be quite a long video today, guys. I hope you do appreciate that. I've got CK subs today, so I thought I might as well make an interesting video. We get a two players pack, actually, um, obviously, along with all the other packs we get, and another two players pack there. Not bad at all. And then I'm going to put the final player in and then go and get our Luis Hernandez. Um, so let's go and find all the players. And that's the hardest bit of it all, is finding all the players and putting them in. So 85 rated squad here. I did the 86 rated squad for free from the uh, packs that I got from doing... What did I do now? I can't even remember. Uh, I did loads of untradeable packs, that was it. And I got all the rated players from that. So it wasn't really a bad use of the stuff. For it. it only cost me, I think, around 300k to do all of this. And then, of course, Del Piero. But he was already bought, so he's irrelevant, really. So that's not too bad at all. Just sort this out now and try and figure out where players go. I'm guessing Czech and Mustafi swap there. Of course, Fabregas here. I'm guessing Bernardo Silva, Mata into Cam, and then Falcao over this. No, wrong player. Uh, Falcao into striker, of course, followed by Bernardo Silva. That gives us 55 chemistry, so I'm not too sure. Maybe these two swap. There we go, 63. And if we buy a CM to CDM for this guy, we might even have one in the club. Um, we do have 12 of them, so there we go. Then if you put uh, Julian, Julian Draxler sorry, into left mid, that should do it, hopefully. And it's going to be a bit awkward if it doesn't, but I'm 99% sure it will. Here we go then. Yeah, it does. So there we go, a rare goal pack, and that is Luis Hernandez uh, completed. So not bad at all, to be honest. There he is, Luis Hernandez, 90 rated squad. Probably a million times better than Del Piero. Go put him into the squad now, just so he's in there. You know how it is. Just um, so he's there and ready to go. Obviously a striker, Luis Hernandez. There he is. So that should be fun to use. Got to be better than uh, Del Piero was, hopefully. I can't really see it being any worse um, than what it was. We've got eight packs as well. So we're going to start off with the two-player packs because, let's be honest, we get us with 100... Whoa, we get a 100k pack as well. I didn't even know that. So that's going to be pretty good. We get a two players pack though here. So let's see what we can get out of this. Probably nothing. Uh, no ball. It's going to be a rare, but it's going to be nothing exciting. Because I think they're untradeable anyway. So let's we'll double check. The, yeah, they are. So just a random Russian league player there. So we have a premium gold pack, another premium gold pack, a jumbo premium, two jumbo premiums, a rare gold pack, a jumbo rare player, and an electron pack. So we're going to start off here with the two premium gold packs, of course, because they are the least valuable thing. So we're going to start off here, hopefully with some boards, but no, not a rare player. Wow, that is um, interesting to say the least. I'm hopefully going to get back to 300. Wow, it's just there's one gold player in this pack. <laughs> that is bad. Um, but hopefully there's going to be these bad luck packs, and we're going to get into the good ones on the 100k pack where an icon pops out, hopefully. Um, but yeah, we'll see. No boards again. And what? <laughs> How can that happen? Um, that was start being negative again, but really? Um, okay. We get out of a squad fitness. We'll look on the bright side um, of that. The packs are pretty much in order, obviously, apart from the fact that I am going to go with this one next. And then the rest of them will be in the order that I open them. Hopefully you can get a board out of this. Sometimes you do. Nope. You get three rare golds, though. Nice. I think you can only get three rares. And they're all gold, so that's not too bad. We are going to get ourselves no one exciting, but we'll store all the silvers for the SBCs and whatever. And they were all uh, they're all untradeable. Never mind. I mean, we could have kept them, but it doesn't matter too much, I guess. But a bit annoying there that I uh, obviously got rid of them here. Boards out of this pack now, and here only one rare in it as well. So hopefully something good here. Uruguay. Stra oh, Suarez is in form, isn't he? Um. Okay, not too bad. I nearly shot the Suarez and remember. That's decent, to be fair. It's got to be 30k, something like that, I guess. 25k. So, I'll take that. Um, Cavani there should get us back up the price a little bit. Yeah, around 30k, 25, something like that, like I said. So we're going to go here and just list him up for, like, 22 and a half and see what he sells on for on bid. I thought Suarez and remember about his... Well, I expected it to be Godin or Jimenez, to be honest, but then... Saw a strike and I remembered that Suarez was in form. If not, I'd have been screaming around for Suarez. But, yeah, not too bad at all. But that's pretty much a very nice player to get back. 
going. We should hopefully get to 300k now, regardless. And no boards out of that one. It's, I hate these packs when they show like the thinness. It gives it away straight away. It's going to be Jesus. Now it's going to be William Jose. Um, not really what you want, but I suppose we'll take it. We got Cavani last pack, so we'll just store the non-res uh, under this pack because why not? Keep the old attributes card. You never know when you're desperate and might need it. Um, Obviously the 1k coins there as well, so onto at least 250k now once Cavani sells, which is really nice, and onto the rare gold pack now. These packs are always horrendous for me, I never get bored out of them. And here we go, yep, yeah, awesome. I'm going to skip it because there's no real point, because I always know every time that we're going to get nothing, and what a surprise, we do get nothing, but we do get ourselves a squad fitness again, that's always a good thing. And finally now guys, the big pack, the 100k pack, so... Let's see what we can get here now. Hopefully I see an icon flare and I'll be screaming, but probably it be boards. Oh, it is boards. That's a good start. It's going to be a gold player. It's going to be Spain. Can David Silva? Okay, David Silva. Nice. 87 rated. There could still be something else in the pack. I suppose that's not too bad. We'll skip it now. Hopefully it'll be like an 86 Alexander or something, but I doubt it. Farman. I mean, it's a standard pack really, isn't it? Um... So David Silva sells on for like 25k, list up for 26, worst case, and uh, yeah, we'll list up Farman here, not really sure what he goes for, same with Juan Fran, we'll quick sell the rest of these, we'll just check the duplicates in case there's a cheeky little Pogba in there, or Bailly that I have in my club, there isn't, so there we go, not bad at all, we're going to have back at least um, 300k here, which is nice, so we've got of course the Luis Hernandez here, we're going to show his in-game stats real quick, and that'll be that, so hope you have enjoyed this video guys, thanks so much for watching, there is stats, you can pause on that if you want to, drop a sub if you're on your end here, I just hit 6k subs, feel free to help out, it's been a really long video, if you have got to the end, thanks so much, and I'll see you all next time.